Good communication is key to business, especially when you need to work together with people that aren't in the same office. So what do millions of small business professionals do when it's time to connect with remote clients and colleagues? They use Citrix GoToMeeting, the proven solution for meeting and collaborating online. Now it's your turn to see why. Visit GoToMeeting.com and click the Try It Free for 30 Days button. That's GoToMeeting.com for your free 30-day trial. Go to meeting. Meeting is believing. Hey, Bob, how's business? Is the new website helping? Not good. I, I can't figure out how to get the website finished. How did you do it? Easy. I called Web.com. They built my website for free. Then they promoted it on all the search engines. Like Google, Yahoo, and Bing? Exactly. And Web.com has helped grow my business so much, I had to bring on new staff. Hey, if Web.com did it for you, they're perfect for me. Call now, 1-800-535-8815. That's 1-800-535-8815. Again, 1-800-535-8815. Nor'easter season is here, so don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space Doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. Bay Propeller is the region's best prop shop. With 25 years under his belt, Max Allen and a team of highly skilled techs provide fast quality service on all types of boat propellers. From 8 to 80 inches, Bay Propeller utilizes MRI propeller scan technology and dynamic spin balance. Distributor for many brands, Bay Propeller ensures you get the right propeller for your needs at discounted prices with emphasis on made in the USA propellers. Bay Propeller, next to Portsmouth Trailer Supply in Chesapeake. Call 485-5681, baypropeller.com. Excellent Italian food is found at Spaghetti Eddie's, a neighborhood restaurant with a great family atmosphere and delicious Italian cuisine. Define Spaghetti Eddie's. New York style pizza, pasta, subs, calzones, soup, salads will bring you back again and again. Log on to Spaghetti Eddie's Pizza Cafe.com and visit them at Greenbrier and Western Branch. Quality Italian food is at Spaghetti Eddie's. Chesapeake, Virginia, 1650 AM WHKT presents Sports Scene. Sports Scene features local, regional, and nationally acclaimed guests and excellent interviews. Follow Sports Scene on Twitter at Greg Bick and at GJBTV.com. Now here is Greg Bickavaris. And thank you very much, Ken Johnson, on this very cold January 7th, 2015. Happy New Year once again. Sports Scene is on the air. Of course, right here, an interview show every Wednesday, 12 to 1 Eastern. Also on TuneIn.com, type in WHKT to listen to your phone or your computer as people are all over the country and the world. Don't forget sports highlights on NNPSTV.com. This is your home for CBS News. Tell your friends about 1650. Tell them about 1650 on Facebook. On Twitter, find me on four different places. That's Greg Bick, Sports Highlight, GJBTV, HR Online Mall Com. Add me on Facebook at Greg Bickavaris. Also, thank you to our military. Great guest lineup as well today. Sponsors on GJBTV.com homepage and Marketplace Sponsors section. Also, our guest lineup presented by Hampton Roads Online Mall. Dot com Phone line today presented by Spaghetti Eddie's in Chesapeake with two locations. And, of course, Crawl Space Door, Spaghetti Eddie's, Bay Propeller, all right here with me on the station advertising as well. And, of course, thanks to our great producer, Ken Johnson. Don't forget GJBTV.com, folks. Hit the YouTube link on the homepage for past archive shows. A lot going on, NFL, college basketball, NBA, a lot of stuff heating up. Of course, we go beyond the sports right here. We do the sports sports scene, what people really care about, not just the X's and O's and the numbers, the personalities that make it all happen. Don't forget, we got our business spotlights coming up. We got highlights coming up and we got what teased me off. It is right now on 1650, 1209 on the radio, 1650 AM, of course, and on tunein.com, type in WHKT as we're live on the radio. Greg Bicaveras, thank you for joining me each week and stay tuned. 
Bay Propeller is the region's best prop shop. With 25 years under his belt, Max Allen and a team of highly skilled techs provide fast quality service on all types of boat propellers. From 8 to 80 inches, Bay Propeller utilizes MRI propeller scan technology and dynamic spin balance. Distributor for many brands, Bay Propeller ensures you get the right propeller for your needs at discounted prices with emphasis on made in the USA propellers. Bay Propeller, next to Portsmouth Trailer Supply in Chesapeake. Call 485-5681, baypropeller.com. Excellent Italian food is found at Spaghetti Eddie's, a neighborhood restaurant with a great family atmosphere and delicious Italian cuisine. Define Spaghetti Eddie's. New York style pizza, pasta, subs, calzones, soup, salads will bring you back again and again. Log on to Spaghetti Eddie's Pizza Cafe.com and visit them at Greenbrier and Western Branch. Quality Italian food is at Spaghetti Eddie's. Nor'easter season is here, so don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space Doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. Now back to Greg McAvaris and Sports Scene in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studio. All right, back live right here on the radio all over southeastern Virginia, anywhere, 1650 a.m. Tell your friends, punch it in. I'll load all the people on 6495 driving right now. Honk that horn if you're listening to Sports Scene right there on 1650 a.m. Lock it in. Greg Picabaris, glad you're with us live on the radio, the best radio show in Hampton Roads, bar none, with the excellent producer and host with me, Ken Johnson as well. Your home for CBS News right here. Don't forget, tunein.com. Type in WHKT on your phone or your computer. Listen anywhere nationally as well as internationally. Well, folks, don't forget the next several weeks, heavy NFL will be on the show as we lead up to the Super Bowl on February the 1st. Right now, it's still wide open. Let's switch gears to college basketball. We had his cohort on a few weeks ago, Robbie Robinson. Let's welcome the color analyst for the VCU Rams, one of the hottest teams in the state the last several years, Mike Lee. So a guy I've known for several years, Mike, welcome. Thanks, Greg. How are you today? Good, my friend. Kind of a chilly Wednesday, and uh, VCU is right in the thick of things, 11-3, and three, off to a pretty good start for the year. Yeah, they certainly are. There was uh, a, kind of a hard scrabble start to the season. In it's typical VCU fashion. They'll play in one of these non-exempt tournaments against one of the bigger teams, and they'll lose that game, and typically the – fan base will lose their mind and you know vcu is going to have a five and 30 season Mm -hmm. Uh, but in shaka smart fashion they really started to get things together in late november they started to figure it out and and they've been playing great basketball as of late Uh, six straight wins and they actually haven't even trailed in any of the last four games i think it's 210 minutes of floor time that they've played with without being behind in a game. So, yeah, certainly putting it together and, and starting to roll as we move into conference season. You look at November and December when basketball starts, it's really still middle of football season, of course, still is, but you're playing non-conference games, you're playing holiday tournaments. How much should we take away from all that? Yeah, I, I think you look at the progress of a team, um, and, and you take a look at the different styles of play they've had to play, who they've played. You know, there's a gigantic difference if you're playing a hard schedule versus a soft schedule. You know, as you look forward, the lessons you take from that is how well did we play in the games that matter, right? It, it's one thing to go up against the Maryland Eastern Shore or Mount St. Mary's and, and totally tater them. But it's a different thing when you're playing the high-level competition. And it's not really even about the wins and losses in those games. I, I know that matters come March. But in terms of how a team grows and what you need to take from what November means, how you played in games against the best teams you played on your schedule, that's what matters. Talking to Mike Litos, he does the radio for the VC Rams up in Richmond. They're in the Atlantic 10. They were in the CAA uh, for several years. Greg Pecavaris, glad you're with us. This is Sports Scene on the radio right here at uh, 1214 on the air. And, and you talk about the lineup. It seems like that's the biggest thing. Every year the lineup changes. And I guess that was a work in progress in November and December. We all know about uh, Weber, Johnson, Graham, but is is 
is Shaka pretty comfortable with his first five right now? Yeah, he he's getting there. Jordan Burgess is fighting a little bit of a foot mm-hmm. injury, um, but he's had to rotate in. He he loves to go deep, and he feels like he's got the talent to go deep this year. However, one of the problems with that is Jordan Burgess and Jaquan Lewis, one of the other guards, are just sophomores, and he's got four very highly touted freshmen, but they're freshmen, and they're trying to figure out not just college basketball, but college life. Mm -hmm. So it takes them a little longer to kind of put it together, and I think it's one of those things for this team. I, I think Shaka Smart looks at February and understands that if they keep improving at the rate that they improved over the course of December, they could have a very good team come postseason. And three big games coming up in a row, Mike. you got Davidson, St. Joe's, Rhode Island. Talk about those three. Yeah, Davidson's going to be an interesting test tonight. Um, Bob McKillop, everybody knows how great of a coach he is. But they play so hard and they execute so well and they do exactly what the coaching staff wants them to do. And that's something that there's 350 Division One coaches that wish they could get that out of their players, what McKillop is able to do. So VCU is going to have to come on their toes. They're going to have to keep fighting because Davidson is the kind of team that if you relax even for two minutes, they're going to dive in and they're going to take advantage of that and they're going to beat you. Um, St. Joseph's a conference champion last year. They've got a kid, DeAndre Bembry, who is a 30-point game waiting to happen. And any time you line up against a team with a kid that if he gets hot, he can carry you to victory, that's a scary game. And and then probably the most interesting one, quite frankly, Greg, to me, mm-hmm. is going to be the Rhode Island game. Sure. And, and Rhode Island is a, is a team that people had some expectations of them last year, but a couple of their better players, E.C. Matthews, a kid by the name of Hassan Martin, were both freshmen as well. Now they have a year under their belt, and Rhode Island is probably, with Dayton, playing the second-best basketball in the A-10 right now. So we're going to find out, number one, just how real VCU is, and number two, just how real Rhode Island is in that battle next week up at Rhode Island. This is Sports Scene presented by Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. Over 40 businesses, browse, shop, and visit Hampton Roads Online Mall.com and save, tell your friends. The retail authority in Hampton Roads talking to Mike Litos with the VCU Rams Radio. Does the color with Robbie Robinson, Greg Bickavaris. Glad you're with us. Always have the pleasure of sitting next to Mike when I do some TV games. And I'll be back there on the 31st when they take one Richmond. Let's, let's talk about uh, the the transition's been several years now going to the A-10, obviously a better platform, a better conference. It seems like the CA is having identity crisis since Old Dominion left, VCU left, George Mason left, and it seems like the A-10 is evolving. And, of course, as you know, Mike, the home office is right here in Newport News. Yeah, it is, and I, I think if you drew up exactly what you wanted your first two or three years when you step up in weight class and move from one conference to the other to, to play out, it, it's absolutely played out for VCU, and, and it's something that, you know, Bernadette McGlade, there's a big thank you should go out to her and, and Drew Dickerson and the entire A-10 staff, as well as the other programs. Their focus on basketball and their strategic move to, you know, to put basketball first and work on the television contract and, and attract programs you know, like VCU, like George Mason, that are very basketball first, has been a very winning strategy. And, and it's one of those, the metaphor I like to use is a rising tide lifts all boats. And, and yes, VCU has won a lot of basketball games, and they've been to four straight NCAA tournaments. And all of those things are great, and that's great for VCU as an individual program. But collectively, these programs in the A-10 have really raised the standard and, and raised the bar. It was five NCAA bids in the first year six NCAA bids last year, and, and, you know, we're trucking along this year as well. So it's, you know, the transition has been a lot less bumpier than it could have been, and I don't think there's a person down on Broad Street here in Richmond that would not smile when asked the question about how has the transition to the A-10 been. Talking to Mike Litos, this is Greg Bicaveras. Glad you're with us on the radio, 1650 AM at 1219. Another 10 minutes or so with Mike. And Mike, we talked about the Richmond game, January 31st. That'll be on national TV as well. But there's a lot of games left to be played before then. We mentioned a total of of six uh, before then as well. And then, of course, the the other three were Duquesne, St. Louis, and GW prior to Richmond. Go back to the Virginia 
Virginia game. Virginia's always been the elite school with Virginia Tech as far as football, basketball, not necessarily in that order since, you know, the, the Terry Holland days back at Virginia and Barry Park Hill and so forth. When Virginia came to town last month, um, they definitely showed they are for real, number one. They won on the, won the Havoc Court. And, uh, you know, there's still a lot of Virginia alumni all over the state of Virginia. And it's, I could tell after the Old Dominion game, VC was a little humbled. That game against Virginia wasn't quite the same because of the Old Dominion loss. But there was a time that, you know, VCU, like any other team, lost prior to Shaka. And it just seems like now the losses are magnified because they don't lose that much anymore. But it seems like Virginia definitely made a statement, and they are for real. Yeah, without question, VCU had won 21 straight games on the home court. And, uh, the Rams have, I, I think it is the eighth best winning percentage in all of college basketball on their home court. So, yeah, not only are they not used to losing, they are certainly not lo- used to losing on their home floor. And yet that Virginia team, I mean, they won the ACC regular season and the ACC tournament last year, but they're a better team this year. And, mm-hmm. and that's almost a scary thing for, the, for, the, uh, for everybody around college basketball. Uh, Justin Anderson has improved so much. London Perante, he... He came into the VCU game averaging 2.9 points a game. And when Virginia needed him in that Miami game the other night, Perante was 23 or 26 points, whatever it was. So they've got, you know, they've got the pack line defense, and they've really perfected that strategy and the tactics. But what Tony Bennett has up there at Virginia that is absolutely incredible, and I mean that in the ultimate sign of respect, is he's got kids totally buying into a system. It is a system that works. And, oh, by the way, he's got very talented kids that are playing in that system. So they're number three, number four ranking and, and challenge at the top of the ACC and potential number one seed in the state tournament. That, that is no fluke. They are for real. Mm-hmm. They had a big win against uh, Miami recently as well. As we're talking to Mike Litos, let's talk about Shaka, his future. He's done nothing but win over 20-plus games every year he's been there, 27, 28, 29, 27, 26. Currently, he's got 11. What's his future? He's flirted, of course. Uh, the schools have with you know Virginia Tech, NC State, UCLA. But uh, he seems solid that he is committed to VCU, especially after that Final Four run a few years ago. What's his future? Yeah, you know what? I, I think people uh, kind of read this as a good press clipping or, or a good mm-hmm. press note. Um, but being around Coach Smart, and I, I can tell you it is absolutely for real. And his family and his situation outside of the gym matters to him, and it matters greatly. And, mm-hmm. and he's happy here in Richmond, and, and his wife is happy here in Richmond, and, and they're raising a daughter who's getting ready to get into school age. All of those things matter to Coach Smart. They're, they're very invested in the community. They do a lot of work with the charities around town. Um, so what, what his future – now, all that to say is, you know, if North Carolina, Duke, Kentucky, Louisville, Texas, Ohio State, I mean, you can rattle off, you know, eight, nine, ten programs that he would absolutely be interested in and absolutely look deeply in. And I don't think there's a VCU fan that does not understand that that is a piece of reality that they're going to have to deal with at some point. And that is there may be that offer that he cannot refuse for his family, but – what I always go back to when people ask me about Shaka Smart and his future and staying at VCU is, yeah, I'm sure he's got a list. I think that list of schools is a whole heck of a lot smaller than a lot of people think that it is because he, he enjoys where he is. He enjoys his life. Quality of life matters. Um, and he's got it right now in Richmond. Yeah, he can do it, whatever he wants. And there's not that many North Carolina and Duke jobs that come open every single year, as we well know. Right here on Sports Scene, 1650 on the radio, tunein.com. Type in WHKT at Greg Bick on Twitter at Sports Highlight at GJBTV, HR Online Mall Com. Mike, go ahead and plug your Twitter handle. Uh, at VCU Litos, V-C-U-L-I-T-O-S. And, Mike, let me ask you this, too, as well. Before you got connected to VCU, you know, my good friend, the late Terry Sosiski, did the play-by-play. We had him on Sports Highlights on the TV show here in Newport News. We're going to get you on here probably in a few months as well after basketball season's over. But what was your thoughts about VCU and their past prior to Shaka as an outsider compared now to when you're an insider working you know, with uh, Robbie, doing the games home and away. What is your opinion? Has it changed? Is it, are you more awe-inspired by the crowd, the havoc? Because you, know, you are not as connected as you have been the last couple of years. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I'll tell you what. The difference in this program, and, and, and it's almost been kind of like a, a sledgehammer over the last five years, especially after that Final Four run, but 
even before that from, you know, uh, Terry and I got to become really good friends around 2005, 2006, mm-hmm. you know, and after Eric Maynard hit that shot to beat Duke, uh, it for years was a program that was on the verge. I mean, they were the classic mid-major that would scare the major schools. But once Eric Maynard hit that shot and, you know, the recruiting started taking off and Anthony Grant took the great work that Jeff Capel did and, and expanded upon it. And Shock has now come in and expanded upon what Anthony Grant did. But behind the scenes, what I've seen is the work that Dr. Richard Sander did establishing the base for the program as the athletics director. And then Norwood Teague picked up that mantle and really shined a light on it. And, and currently now Ed McLaughlin, what he's doing in terms of making sure that those baseline things are capitalized upon. So from a leadership perspective, from a coaching perspective, and from a wins perspective, the arc of this program from being someone who could, the little engine that could, to someone who is a national player has, has been astounding to see. Yeah, you talk about Capel, Grant, you know, and of course Sonny, what he did, you know, with VCU back in the, in the 90s. And, you know, of course, uh, you know, Capel we mentioned and, and of course what Shock is doing, just the platform they've had at that national level. And now pretty much every game is on some type of national TV as well. It's got to help the school's brand. For a while it was Richmond, Dick Tarrant. That's all you heard about Richmond. Now it's, 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 it's reverse. Well, it is, and, and I have a lot of friends over at Richmond, and, and we talk all the time about the column inches that VCU yeah. gets in the Times of Dispatch now compared to what they used to. But, yeah, when you talk about you know 23 or 30 games being on national TV, whether it's an ESPN platform, a CBS platform, or NBC Sports, you know the other seven games are picked up by Masson and Comcast. Mm-hmm. You, know, you do become more than just a regional brand. You become a national brand, and, mm-hmm. and it's something that pays off. And I like to term this as kind of the cycle of success. And it pays off because now Shaka Smart can sit down in the home of you know a top 50, top 100 kid and talk about the national TV and, and how his parents will get to see him on TV and talk about the players they've put in the NBA and talk about the sellouts and talk about all those things. And he doesn't have to explain who VCU is, and he doesn't have to try to convince anybody of the success. He's got data points to show that. You know, thus, those good kids now become interested in VCU. He lands a few of these like he's done the last couple of years and, and the winning. You know, winning begets winning. It's just kind of a cycle of success. The more talent you have, the more games you're going to win. And, of course, they played Richmond and George Mason when they were in the CA. Of course, those are geographic uh, great rivals. George Washington added them to it. How's the challenge has been for you, Mike, for the before and after the games, for the home games, and, of course, the travel games? I mean, was going to St. Louis in the middle of the winter, Duquesne, Rhode Island, that's not easy as far as your time, your talent, <laughs> your treasure. Talk about that from a personal perspective a little bit. Yeah, it. Um, you know, the travel is, and, and I, I shouldn't gripe about it because I, I get to travel with the college basketball team and talk about them and write about them. Mm-hmm. So, you know, first world problems, right, Greg? Sure, sure. But, um, no, it's uh, the days of, you know, heading up by 95 to Mason or down 64 to William & Mary or ODU, um, even though we did go down to ODU this year, um, you know, just out 64 to Harrisonburg sure. to play JMU, those types of days, you know, where, where you could leave at 3, 4 o'clock and, and you'd be back at a decent hour over, but... Uh, you know, I, I guess there is a price of success to everybody, mm-hmm. and and if my biggest pain is a longer plane flight out to St. Louis to get the national acclaim for this school, and 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 quite frankly, to get the fun of covering uh, this program and and the great people in it, and, and I say that because they really are they're after the right things, um, and and that's the sense that I get when we were down in Norfolk. That's the sense that I get from Coach Jones and what he's doing down there at ODU that. They're after the right things, and that's something you want to be a part of. So, yeah, I've, I've got nothing to complain about. There's also a lot of George Mason alumni listening, too. Of course, I went to Mason, uh, finished way back in 89. They made the Final Four in 06. They haven't quite been the same since Larinaga left. Yeah, they haven't, um, and I think a lot of that is, uh, you know, Coach Larinaga left, and it took uh, Paul Hewitt a couple years to kind of put his stamp on the program. And, and just when you're getting ready to turn a corner, uh, you know, bang, you're in the A-10 and you're facing this higher level of competition where, you know, a road trip at Hofstra, you know, which used to be a pretty guaranteed victory, that's no longer there. So uh, there is an adjustment period. They went through the conference adjustment and the coaching adjustment and the style adjustment. You know, they got a new AD in there in the last couple of years. So that's a lot of change. 
Mm -hmm. Um, And that's something I don't think people realize really matters throughout the course of a year. Um, And and it's something we're we're seeing them play a lot better now. They got the win at LaSalle Mm -hmm. um, in their first game the other night. And and, and I think you're going to see them steadily rise as well. And one thing about the A-10, you're getting a lot more, you know, at-large bids than the CAA. CAA barely got one or two at the max. Yeah, you can remember the days of it. If you went, you know, 14-4 and in the CAA and finished first and lost in Richmond in the conference tournament, where you were holding your breath and crossing your fingers and crossing your toes, mm-hmm. um, that you would get the at-large bid. Now, it, you know, you finish top one, two, three, four in the A-10. You know, it, it's not an all-or-nothing thing. If you are having a very good season and you scheduled smartly in November and December, it's going to pay off for you in the A-10. So, it, yep. it, like I said, it's it's turned out to be a great move for VCU. I think George Mason is going to reap those fruits fairly soon. Yeah, and St. Joe's put the platform up in the 90s. Mike, all the best. Good luck tonight against Davison. Safe travels as well. Give our best to Robbie, and we'll see you on the 31st. Will do. Anytime, Greg. Look forward to catching up. My pleasure. All right, Mike Lito's right there with the VCU Rams, does the radio, one of the hottest teams in the state in college basketball. Ken Johnson, CBS News. CBS coming up, and it's going to be cold. We'll have the forecast for you later on, but it's going to be a cold night and a day tomorrow. 1231 on AM 1650, The Answer. CBS News Update. I'm Steve Kaith, and French police are hunting the three men who opened fire at the offices of a Paris magazine. The attack at Charlie Hebdo, a satirical publication, left 12 dead. CBS's Elaine Cobb in Paris. The French interior minister says that All French police forces and military have been put on alert. They are being mobilized to look for the three men responsible for this attack. Nobody has yet claimed responsibility. The magazine has lampooned extremists and has received threats before terror analyst Sir John Gohel. This type of attack was actually inevitable because of the fact that Al-Qaeda and its affiliates have been calling for these attacks for years. President Obama called it a cowardly evil attack. Secretary of State Kerry. What these people who do these things don't understand is they will only strengthen the commitment to that freedom and our commitment uh, to a civilized world. CBS News Update. I'm Steve Kathan. 1232 is the time. Uh, we've got a crash in Chesapeake, uh, 64 eastbound right there at the 464 interchange involving at least one, maybe two trucks. So that's a major issue. Also, Sandbridge Road will remain closed to through traffic until 3 o'clock this afternoon following that earlier crash this morning of the downed power lines. Apparently going to take a little longer to get that fixed than they had previously thought. The big thing is it's going to get cold. And we've got a big cold front coming in, bringing big winds with it, cloudy, windy. We may see wind gusts exceeding 40 miles per hour this afternoon. So if you have anything out in the yard, if you haven't taken down those Christmas decorations yet, what are you waiting for? Then you might want to go and bring those in or at least be aware they may get blown into the neighbor's yard or even down the street. Partly cloudy skies, windy and cold tonight, dropping down. Down to 18 degrees. With the wind chill, it's going to be in the single digits, maybe even lower. Mostly sunny. Continued cold tomorrow with a high of only 27 degrees. But then for Friday, partly cloudy, warming up to 47. Sunny on Saturday, 36. Partly cloudy on Sunday with a high of 50 degrees. More of Sports Scene coming up in just a moment on AM 1650, The Answer. Hi, this is Greg Bigavaris. Join me for Sports Scene each Wednesday from noon to 1 right here on News Talk 1650, WHKT. You can also hear the show on TuneIn as well. We will talk to local, regional, and nationally acclaimed sports guests and we'll interact with our audience as well at Greg Bick on Twitter. Sports Scene, Wednesdays from noon to 1 right here on 1650 AM. Bay Propeller is the region's best prop shop. With 25 years under his belt, Max Allen and a team of highly skilled techs provide fast quality service on all types of boat propellers. From 8 to 80 inches, Bay Propeller utilizes MRI propeller scan technology and dynamic spin balance. Distributor for many brands, Bay Propeller ensures you get the right propeller for your needs at discounted prices with emphasis on made in the USA propellers. Bay Propeller, next to Portsmouth Trailer Supply in Chesapeake. Call 485-5681, baypropeller.com. Nor'easter season is here, so don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space Doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. 
good Italian food, daily specials, and a place people enjoy is Spaghetti Eddie's. Indulge in your mouth-watering pizza, pasta, subs, salads, appetizers, and desserts. Open seven days a week, log on to SpaghettiEddie'sPizzaCafe.com and visit them at Taylor Road and on Eden Way North in Chesapeake for lunch and dinner. Like them on Facebook. Italian food you can count on is at Spaghetti Eddie's. Now back to Greg McAveris and Sports Scene in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studio. All right, back right here on Sports Scene. Hope you enjoyed uh, Mike Lito's with the VC Rams. We'll be giving some football predictions a little bit later. Stay tuned. Also, the sports highlights coming up, as well as what teased me off. Want to welcome Ken Hess now, talking some skiing and snow tubing from Mass Nutton. How are you, my friend? Great. How are you? Good. What's your title over there? I'm a director of sports and risk management. Very good. Mass Nutton, I guess it's that time of the year, pretty much since the fall, uh, you guys are staying pretty busy. We are, we are. We uh, we got an early start with skiing and snowboarding. We opened up on uh, Thanksgiving weekend, and we got a good cold shot the air, air right now, and we got a little snow yesterday and a little more today, and we're really excited. Talk about uh, Mass Nun. What a beautiful resort it is for people to come up there every year. Yeah, we have something for everybody any time of the season. You know, we have with the water park and with the skiing and with two golf courses and a couple of indoor pools, a couple of outdoor pools, hiking, mountain biking, zip lining. You know, we got it all. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about uh, the hours and what people need to know about it the most, of course, and talk about the website, too. Yeah, you can find all that information on, on MassResort.com for any of our activities. And uh, for skiing and snowboarding, we're, we, we're open daily from 9 to 9 and uh, 9 until 10 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Right, and you got all types of amenities there, and that's the key. It's always the before and after. And talk about some of your instructors. They really help out with the beginners, too, as far as skiing. Oh, I would strongly recommend uh, taking a lesson if you've never been skiing. We have a really cool program. It's called a Pathway Program where you get your rental equipment, your, your uh, slope use ticket, and two one-hour lessons to be used on at, uh, at your leisure if, within your period. So you can take the lesson, practice for a while, go take a break, go get something to eat or drink, and then come back and take your second lesson and uh, continue on with your day. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, a lot of great exercise, and the view there, too, Kenny, is really nice. Yeah, you know, when you when you get up on top of the mountain, you get beautiful, gorgeous views of the Shenandoah Valley and off to the, to the Blue Ridge, off to the to the east, and the, and the uh, front range of the of the, Shen, of the Shenandoah Mountain off to the west. Very good. All right, my friend, give our best to Steve, and we will talk to you soon. Very good. Have a nice day. You too. All right, Ken, right there, talking a little bit about mass nutting and snow tubing and skiing, and that's always a lot of fun, especially this time of the year. Ken, you know, in the D.C. Maryland area yesterday, they got a lot of snow. We were lucky. We dodged a bullet here. Yeah, and the cold weather will keep it from having to melt too much. Maybe they won't have to add to it. Uh, it'll be a, a nice cold treat. And if you haven't been up to uh, the slopes and seen all the things you can do, it's not just skiing. There's a lot to do. I mean, you can hang out in a lodge and drink hot chocolate if you want, sit by the fire. That's always fun. There's uh, snow tubing. There's just a lot to do, and uh, it's just a fun place to go. Plus, as you and uh, Kenny alluded to, the scenery is just magnificent you don't see many mountains around here unless you drive by Trashmore. so it's nice to get up and see the mountains and the hills and just get away from it all in the refreshing area you'll just feel like a million bucks absolutely all right we'll take a short break come back with some highlights what teased me off a little bit later and a lot more on sports scene nor'easter season is here so don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space Doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. Bay Propeller is the region's best prop shop. With 25 years under his belt, Max Allen and a team of highly skilled techs provide fast quality service on all types of boat propellers. From 8 to 80 inches, Bay Propeller utilizes MRI propeller scan technology and dynamic spin balance. Distributor for many brands, Bay Propeller ensures you get the right propeller for your needs at discounted prices with emphasis on made in the USA propellers. Bay Propeller, next to Portsmouth Trailer Supply in Chesapeake. Call 485-5681, baypropeller.com. 
excellent Italian food is found at Spaghetti Eddie's, a neighborhood restaurant with a great family atmosphere and delicious Italian cuisine. Define Spaghetti Eddie's. New York style pizza, pasta, subs, calzones, soup, salads will bring you back again and again. Log on to SpaghettiEddie'sPizzaCafe.com and visit them at Greenbrier and Western Branch. Quality Italian food is at Spaghetti Eddie's. Now back to Greg McAveris and Sports Scene in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studio. All right, back here on Sports Scene on the radio, 1240, 1650 AM. Glad you're with us. Go to tunein.com, type in WHKT to listen on your phone or your computer. Don't forget GJBTV.com. Hit the YouTube link as well for archive shows. I want to welcome a regular right here, Tommy Postolero from Mona Lisa's in Norfolk. Tommy, how are you, my friend? Hey, Greg. How you doing, bud? Good. What are the specials today? We got super sandwich for this cold weather day. Italian super Toscana and a big cold sandwich, ham, turkey, or roast beef for seven seventy five with a drink. Tommy, you're right there in Ocean View. Give us your address. Ninety five eighty three Shore Drive. And the phone number there, folks, three six two zero two hundred. When you walk into Mona Lisa's in Ocean View and out of the cold, a great place to feel at home. You watch all the NFL games there. You have a lot going on this month as well, dude, don't you, Tommy? Yes, sir. We got um, we got the playoffs going on this weekend. Last week it was a great weekend um, with the games and everything. This weekend, looking looking forward for another good weekend with the NFL coming on. Well, how about those Cowboys, Tommy? Oh man, you know, I can't explain it. It's it's, it's a miracle year for us. So I'll, I'll take what we get. Yeah, back in the day when they had Staubach and Danny White, and now it's a. And Troy Aikman, now it's you know Romo's turn, and you know they they they're undefeated on the road. The thing is, can they keep it up against Green Bay? Well, I hope so because Green Bay's tough. You know they play they play tough in the playoffs, and so you know I'm just I'm just grateful we won our first playoff game. Well, let's talk about your menu. You got a great Facebook page as well. Talk about the menu. You got pizza, pasta, subs. You got salads. You got everything. Oh man, we got we got everything. We're doing steaks now. We got burgers. Um, we got we got a big Super Bowl party planned every year that we do here at Mona Lisa's free buffet for all our, all our customers that come in that come watch the game. We got vinyl headlights this weekend. Live band on Friday night. It's going to be a great time this weekend too. Great parking right there. Plug the website. Plenty of parking. Yes. And of course, uh, how about the website, Tommy? Uh Mona Lisa Pizza OV Com. Very good. You can also see it on HamptonRoadsOnlineMall.com. Just click the link on my website as well. You'll see Tommy from Mona Lisa. Tommy, all the best to you and your family, your mom, your wife, and your kids. You've done a lot for the community, my friend. Pizza, pasta, subs. I know your dad would be proud. Oh, man, I appreciate you, Greg. You guys are great. Uh, thank you, Tommy. I'll talk to you soon, buddy. All right, see you. Thank you. All right, Tommy from Mona Lisa's Pizza right there, Ken. And, of course, what he's really good is he, he gives back to the community, whether it's Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Peninsula. He's really just a generous soul. There's a lot of good business people out there. Uh, make sure you patronize them. You don't always have to go to the big, huge chain stores. Right. There are local owned and operated businesses that do care about the community, as in Tommy's case. Uh, make sure you patronize them. You've got to support them. That's how you keep the uh, American spirit of entrepreneurship going is by supporting the businesses that support the community. And Ken, you know that. You grew up here like I did. You know, I used to go to Belvedere every Sunday on 36th and Atlantic with my family. The chains do not care about the locals. They never have. No, you try to get to a complaint department about anything going wrong, good grief, you're on the phone for two days, you might get to somebody and probably won't get resolved. With a local business, you talk to the owner, to the manager, the guy that uh, is making the business happen right there, you talk to them, and they'll usually resolve it pretty quick. And most of the time, there's a problem anyway, because they care about the, the things they're doing. And exactly. And then they email you a survey. Really? How was everything? It was okay. <laughs> what was wrong? It was okay. I mean, there was the, the burger was not cooked well done, whatever, but it was just okay. All right, come back with some highlights. This is Sports Scene on the Radio. Add me on Facebook, Greg Bicavaris. Go to gjbtv.com. Look about my background there. Also, hit the YouTube link for archive shows. Don't forget to browse, shop, and visit on HamptonRoadsOnlineMall.com. We're here for you every Wednesday. Get you away from the daily grind of everyday life. Tell your friends. Sports Scene, mark it down on the radio 12 to 1. Unfiltered. We tell it like it is right here on the radio. Stay tuned. Nor'easter season is here. 
So don't get all wet. Protect your house. Call Crawl Space Door Systems at 363-0005. Reduce your flood insurance, reduce the threat of mold and insects, and save energy. Crawl Space Doors, air vents, flood vents, vent covers, and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly. Contact Crawl Space Doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com. Stay dry, my friends. Good Italian food, daily specials, and a place people enjoy is Spaghetti Eddie's. Indulge in your mouth-watering pizza, pasta, subs, salads, appetizers, and desserts. Open seven days a week, log on to SpaghettiEddie'sPizzaCafe.com and visit them at Taylor Road and on Eden Way North in Chesapeake for lunch and dinner. Like them on Facebook. Italian food you can count on is at Spaghetti Eddie's. Bay Propeller is the region's best prop shop. With 25 years under his belt, Max Allen and a team of highly skilled techs provide fast quality service on all types of boat propellers. From 8 to 80 inches, Bay Propeller utilizes MRI propeller scan technology and dynamic spin balance. Distributor for many brands, Bay Propeller ensures you get the right propeller for your needs at discounted prices with emphasis on made in the USA propellers. Bay Propeller, next to Portsmouth Trailer Supply in Chesapeake. Call 485-5681, baypropeller.com. Now back to Greg McAveris and Sports Scene in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studio. It's now time for Greg's highlights presented by Hampton Roads Online Mall.com Marketplace Pages. And browse, shop, and visit on Hampton Roads Online Mall.com, including Carly and Debbie, who are right now, of course, Hampton Roads Online Mall. Dot com. I want to thank Mike Litos in the first half hour, the VC Rams talking college basketball and the Rams on the radio, as well as Ken Hess from Massanutten and our good friend Tommy Posolero from Mona Lisa's in Ocean View. This is Greg Bickavaris. This is Sports Scene live on the radio right here every Wednesday, 12 to 1. It is 1246 right now. So glad you're with us on the radio for part of the lunch hour right here. Don't forget gjbtv.com archive shows. Click the YouTube link. Shop on the Marketplace sponsors. Save the date every Wednesday from 12 to 1 for sports scene. We got our business spotlight scenes you just heard from with Tommy from Mona Lisa's. What tees me off? Ken and I will chime in on that in just a few moments. Don't forget sports highlights, the TV show that I host in Newport News on Cox Cable 47 517 every Monday at 7 a.m., 2 p.m., and 7 p.m. weekends at 9 a.m., 24 7 on demand on your computer on nnpstv.com we always have great guests we'll be talking heavy nfl here the remainder of january all right let me give you my thoughts on the nfl and of course the games coming up this week as well the ravens and patriots saturday 4 35 on nbc ravens uh, have had the patriots number we'll wait and see flacco versus brady should be a great great matchup who did the ravens beat last week they beat the steelers in pittsburgh Unacceptable, Pittsburgh. You can do better than that. Panthers, Seahawks, 815 on Fox on January the 10th. Cam Newton, Ken, was the quarterback of the Panthers, got in a serious automobile accident less than a month ago, and he led his team to a win against the Cardinals. Unbelievable. The kid was barely, you know, walking around, and he's still winning football games. What's even more unbelievable about the Panthers are they made the postseason, won the division with a losing record. Miracles happen. <laughs> uh, uh, but, of course, this time they go to Seattle and take on the Seahawks. They used to play back in the day in the Dome, which was really loud. That'll be out in the grass January the 10th, 815 on Fox. All right, let's switch gears now to January the 11th, Dallas and Green Bay. They play 105 on Fox on Sunday. Joe Buck with the call right there. Dallas has not lost a road game. Green Bay had an idle week off. They were a little shaken up. Long, long season. The advantage is most teams win at home except for Pittsburgh. They didn't win at home. You've got to win at home during the playoffs. No excuse about it. Green Bay, you're playing at home against Dallas. Dallas has got the momentum going. They're consistent. They've been winning. They won on the road. Can they beat Aaron Rodgers and the Packers? We'll wait and see Sunday on Fox. All right, the rematch now. Colts, Broncos, 440 on Sunday. The late game on CBS. You got Luck versus Manning. Of course, Luck 
replace Manning as Manning was idle, went to the Broncos the last several years. I think both teams made out the right choice. Luck is the future. The best quarterback in the NFL with Flacco after Manning, Brady, Breeze, and Rodgers. Luck, folks, is the real deal. He can win on the road. The advantage the Broncos have, they're playing at home again in the altitude. The Colts are getting away from the comfy confines of playing inside of a dome, climate-controlled weather. Of course, Peyton Manning did that for several years. Still, Manning's arm is not quite what it used to be. He's older. He's pushing 40 years old. I like the Colts. However, I think the Broncos will win. So recap it. I think the Patriots, Seahawks, yes, Dallas will beat Green Bay, and I think the Broncos will beat the Colts, although I'm kind of rooting for the Colts just because I am. Big college football game coming up. National Championship. Ohio State, the number four team, taking on Oregon, the number two team, January 12th, Monday night, 8.30 on ESPN. Should be a showcase classic game. Here's the problem with Ohio State. They have no quarterback. That guy is a total, total stiff who is going through the motions, wouldn't even sniff the NFL. It's his team around him, the roster, that's elevating this guy. We don't expect Ohio State with a third-string quarterback to beat anybody. The reason they beat Alabama, folks, was Alabama has no quarterback either unless you can throw and run equally as well you're not going to win the national championship case in point Oregon they got the Heisman Trophy winner Ken Mariota he can run and throw as equally as well you wonder about some of the athletes some of them seem single tasked it seems to me like the better athletes are the ones that can do it all if you have somebody that all they can do is run or all they can do is throw then you eliminate if you got somebody that can do it all those are the athletes I think you need on a team, and why not? It makes more sense. I know there's agents and there's contracts and there's all this kind of mess, but just for the fans and for the teams and for the rest of the teams, I think you really do need a well-rounded player in all positions. I like Ohio State. My mom went there, of course. My dad and I met Woody Hayes in June of 86, but guess what? Oregon is the better team. My gut feeling is Oregon will win. All right, Michigan and Harbaugh. Of course, his brother coaches the Ravens. We saw Jim at the Ravens-Steelers game. He put the hex on those Steelers fans, as we call that word Eve. You know, like it's Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving Eve. Well, guess what? It was Ravens Eve, and Ravens Eve beat the Steelers. Harbaugh, of course, was there. In my opinion, yes, he played for Michigan. He played for Bo. He's making a big mistake. He's an NFL guy. His heart's in the NFL. Recruiting is not fun to go to 17- to 18-year-old kids say, do you want to go to school here, Ken? You can really make a difference here. You Academics, athletics, and activities. Most of these kids might go there for one year. And in the NFL, at least you don't have to recruit. It's tough enough to deal with off-the-field issues. But in college today, you do very little coaching. It seems like you're doing more babysitting than anything else (laughs) and more policing like the guy at Florida State who seems to get in trouble Winston all the time. Yeah, and you've got to keep in mind, uh, and, and I feel sorry for some of the coaches, these are supposed to be, to a degree, role models. Sure, they're athletes playing a mm-hmm. sport, playing a game. But also there's a lot of people, kids and adults, other people that look up to them for whatever reason, and we can debate that forever and ever and all, man. But still, people look up to these people, and if they've got a lack of integrity – that's got to play into the choice of whether or not they're going to play for a team, I think. If they don't have integrity, uh, you're losing a lot not only on the field but also in the fans, in the seats. I mean, all these openings, Bills, Bears, Jets, Falcons, who knows what the Raiders are going to do. But in my opinion, you know, Harbaugh should have stayed with the Raiders. He could have been right there. He was an assistant there at one time, gone to Stanford, 49ers, the Raiders never move. Now he's got to recruit against the likes of Saban, Urban Meyer, you know, LSU, UCLA. It's not that easy, you know, recruiting. Recruiting is not easy like it used to be there's recruiting is a 12 month a year job as well so that's pretty much my take we got what teased me off it sounded like what teased me off was in that segment oh it's coming up now nor'easter season is here so don't get all wet protect your house call crawl space door systems at 363-0005 reduce your flood insurance reduce the threat of mold and insects and save energy crawl space doors air vents flood vents vent covers and fans can help you stay dry or get you dry quickly contact crawl space doors for more information at 363-0005 or online at crawlspacedoors.com stay dry my friends 
Bay Propeller is the region's best prop shop. With 25 years under his belt, Max Allen and a team of highly skilled techs provide fast quality service on all types of boat propellers. From 8 to 80 inches, Bay Propeller utilizes MRI propeller scan technology and dynamic spin balance. Distributor for many brands, Bay Propeller ensures you get the right propeller for your needs at discounted prices with emphasis on made in the USA propellers. Bay Propeller next to Portsmouth Trailer Supply in Chesapeake. Call 485-5681. Baypropeller.com. Excellent Italian food is found at Spaghetti Eddie's, a neighborhood restaurant with a great family atmosphere and delicious Italian cuisine. Define Spaghetti Eddie's. New York style pizza, pasta, subs, calzones, soup, salads will bring you back again and again. Log on to Spaghetti Eddie's Pizza Cafe.com and visit them at Greenbrier and Western Branch. Quality Italian food is at Spaghetti Eddie's. Now back to Greg McAveris and Sports Scene in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studio. Rack City Chick, Rack Rack City Chick, Rack City Chick, Rack Rack City Chick, Rack City Chick, Rack Rack City Chick, 10, 10, 10, 20s and the 50s Chick, Rack City Chick, Rack Rack All right, back to Sports Scene. Don't forget to find me on Twitter, Greg Bick, that's G R E G. B I C at Sports Highlight without the S G J B T V H R Online Mall Com and don't forget to browse, shop, and visit, folks. Tell your friends Hampton Roads Online Mall dot com. We got a billboard a couple months ago promoting it on Twitter, radio, as well as TV. Hampton Roads Online Mall dot com. Over forty businesses to browse, shop, and visit. Where no bridges, no tolls, no tunnels. People go to the peninsula and the south side daily. Some work in Virginia Beach, live in Newport News. Some live in Hampton, go to Chesapeake. It doesn't matter. Hampton Roads Online Mall. Dot com. All right, Ken, what tees me off? Phony people. Just people that, that come and go in your life. I thought we'd play the intro first. What tees <laughs> you off? Presented by GJBTV.com. Phony people, Ken. Oh, man, oh, man. And you see plenty of that in our business, also in the television and and motion pictures and other places as well, especially. We see it probably more than most other people, but you know people who smile at you and grin and say, oh, how nice you are, and you know behind the, your back they're talking bad about you. And just uh, phony, don't have anything going for them, but they're fake persona, which is kind of sad. If yeah. someone is that empty, if that soul has nothing else to fulfill it other than putting up some kind of artificial front, what a damaged person. And, and the cowards that hide behind text messaging, you know, just they can't deal a face-to-face like you and I grew up with. It's all a cop-out by texting. Yeah, you're afraid to face other people. And that's uh, the primary form of communication is face-to-face, talking to somebody, shaking their hands, being in the same room, conversing back and forth. You can't get a sense of emotion, a sense of personality in a text they're just words you can read into those words almost any kind of emotion you want to a lot of people put them all in caps and sometimes it's not always meant to be screaming they just don't know how to uncap the thing but uh, you can't really get the full emotional feel out of what someone's saying through texting you have to talk to people yeah not backing up your words exactly right ken how about dmv hours they're so erratic the people that work for the city or government realize they're they're getting paid no matter what and they work as slow as turtles do yeah it seems like a lot of government agencies especially the agencies that are supposed to be helping people like medicare medicaid social services all those agencies uh, my father had to go through disability when he was injured so we had some insight courtesy of his attorney into just how the uh, state and uh, federal agencies work that are supposed to be helping people they could be doing 20 and 30 cases a day easy they do one or two because that's all they have to do they're yeah. civil service they can sit on their butts twiddle their thumbs and still get paid by you and me. you got a city hall the lines are long because a lot of them are delaying because they don't want to deal with the customers well you're in customer service yeah i have to go take a break what? yeah and talk to somebody else erratic behavior by people and of course when you go to fast food places or anywhere like that can nobody at the counters and you got to chase somebody down behind the cash register you don't see them in some places, not all the franchises are the same. Uh, just to pick a name of a hat, I'm not pointing a finger at him, but not every McDonald's is owned by the same company. There are good and bad mm-hmm. franchises, and if you find a good one, uh, stick to it and tell everyone else about it. But if you find a bad one, then try. There's one that's owned. Oh, I don't know if I should say it. Uh, let's say that the chap that owns it is not necessarily born in America. 
<clears throat> his chain is the worst. I've actually talked to him. Mm -hmm. And he put on this whole front of, oh, yes, we'll take care of that. We'll fix that for you and everything. Didn't do anything. Right. Nothing changed. You know, and I love gourmet burgers, but there's nothing like a Big Mac once in a while. I do like McDonald's. All right, Governor McDonald King got sentenced to two years in jail. I'm sorry, Governor, you're going to jail. You don't have to act like Jim Baker did, like, you know, and, and playing an actor's role there. You look like Jim Baker the other day. Yeah, and it's sad to see, uh, mm -hmm. and I know a, a big portion of what happened with Bob McDonald, unfortunately, appears to be his wife, and that's a tough road to hoe. Uh, you know, you, you married the person, do you stick by him, do you let him stick it to you, what are you going to do? So I feel for Bob, and I, I you know, pray for him and his family, so for the best, but you know, he does have to atone. He knew what he was doing was wrong. He has to do that. We got a, I got a call from an elderly person yesterday. Listen to this. Her daughter's in North Carolina leaving her with the community to take her mother who can't drive to the grocery store, the banks, the post office. Guess what? Elderly people are not taxi cab services. It's your responsibility to look out for your mother or your father when they get old, not the community at large. Yeah, did you hear that story in the news about the, the elderly lady who died and apparently has been dead for a year and her son lives above her in the next floor above them didn't check on her in a year that gives new meaning to go get the remote holy mackerel all right on a, on a sad note we want to give our condolences to the late Stuart scott who worked for espn um i've done a lot of stage managing work for them so as my sister and i met Stuart ironically in the lax airport way back in 2003 uh, visiting my friend gus and his family Stuart scott may your memory be eternal. I want to thank our great guests, uh, Mike Litos, Ken Hess, Tommy Posolero. For Ken Johnson, don't forget, gjbtv.com. Hit the YouTube link for archive shows. We'll be back next Wednesday on Sports Scene on 1650. Tune in Type in WHKT for more. Go to HamptonRoadsOnlineMall.com and gjbtv.com. I'm Greg Picabaris. Happy Wednesday. We'll talk to you soon. AM 1650, WHKT, Portsmouth, 1 o'clock.